What's up everybody, Joe from Pixelmerb.com and today I'm going to talk to you about how to resize photos within Photoshop. And I'm talking about bulk resizing photos here, taking a whole entire folder and resizing every single image in that folder to the exact same width and height dimensions for your projects. Now I came up with the idea for this video because I'm recoding my custom WordPress theme called Evo Pro and I'll leave a link to that in the description section. And in the process of recoding it, I wanted to play around with a bunch of different image sizes for the different layout options that my custom WordPress theme provides. So I went over to one of my favorite stock photo websites, Pexels.com, downloaded a bunch of images, and I wanted to edit them to be a specific width and height. But instead of doing it one by one within Photoshop, I decided I wanted to do it all at once. That'll save a significant amount of time, and I'm all about being as productive as possible. So in this video, I'll show you the process of how you can bulk resize or batch resize a bunch of photos within seconds. There's two ways you can get this done, and I'll show you both. So let's jump on the computer, and let's see how we can do this. So I downloaded these pictures from Pexels.com, right? So right now, they're at 3840 by 2160. But what I want to do is I want to bring them in at about 1140 by 641 in terms of the image dimensions. Now I could edit them one by one, but as you can see, there's a bunch of different images here and that can take some time. So I want to save time as much as possible. So I'm going to go over to Photoshop here and there's two ways to get this done. Now the fastest and easiest way to get this done is we can go over here to file, scripts, image processor. We're going to select the folder. I'm selecting this folder over here and then we're going to choose a destination folder. So we're selecting a folder to work with and then we're going to select the folder that we want to save it to. I'm going to make a new folder here. And you see that's the option we have right there selected. You want to make sure you toggle this on right here, resize to fit. And then these are the dimensions I want to use 1140 and 641. You could choose whatever dimensions you want for your project, but for this purpose, this is what I want to have. So then I'll just uh, click the one tab right there. It'll process every single image in order to get that done. All right, so let's jump over to our new folder over here. So now we have all the same images that we have on this side. We have them on this side now, but the difference is this is 1140 by 641. All of these images are the same size versus these images over here, which are 3840 by 2160. You could also see the file size is significantly smaller on this side because the dimensions are smaller. Now that's important because 507 kilobytes for each photo or even higher in some cases like this one's 1.37 megabytes. That's big in comparison to this image size over here of 95.6 kilobytes. Now, obviously this could be reduced even further, but it just shows you that by just resizing an image, you save on the file size. And for websites, that's very important. So that's one way to get this done. Very simple, very easy to do. Now, let me show you another way to do this as well. Go back to Photoshop. What I'm going to do here is let me actually go over here. Now I want the other folder. Yes. So I'm going to drag a picture over here, open it up. We're going to look at the image size. You see it's 3840 by 2160. So what I'm going to do here is I want you to go to window and actions. We're going to create a new action over here. I'm going to call it image resize. Then I'm going to click record. So now once you do this, once you go to window and you open up the actions panel over here, and then you create that action by clicking this icon over here. Everything you do from here on in is going to be recorded. So let's say I go over here, go to image, image size. Now you see that it's resized. And you can do a lot of things over here to really customize the way the images will look. It really depends on the project you're working on. But for this demo, I'm just going to keep it to resize in it. Then I'll go over here to file, save as. I'll create a new folder. And this is where I'm going to save it at. Click save. Now you're going to get this pop up over here. You can play around with this if you want. I'm just going to say maximum over here. And now you have that done. So now you can click on stop. X out of this one. And then we can go to file, automate, batch. You see we have our action over here, image resize. We're going to choose the folder. 
I'm going to choose the pictures from the WP uh, pictures folder. Click OK. And then once we click OK over here, it'll start the process of resizing all the images within that folder. It opens them all up. It'll resize them and then it places it into that other folder that we created before. All right, so now we have that done. Let's go back to our folders over here. Let's take a look at the 1140 action. And now you see we also have all the images here that are resized. If we go back over here, you see all the images are resized in the same way. So now you have your images over here, 1140 by 641. And also over here, 1140 by 641. That was significantly faster than going into Photoshop and editing each image one by one. All right, so that's how you bulk resize or batch resize a bunch of images to the same width and height within Photoshop. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon down below. And if you need a website, visit pixelmurb.com. I have a custom WordPress theme that you can buy. You can also get your domain name and web hosting here. We have a real estate IDX feed that's amazing. And check out some of my other free video tutorials on WordPress, Photoshop, social media marketing, and other things of that nature. Again, if you enjoyed it, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.